If you look at Paleolithic cave paintings all over Europe, you'll see dots or tick marks next to the images of most of the animals. And archaeologists have wondered for decades what these marks might mean. But now, an amateur archaeologist has helped them figure out that they might actually be a type of early proto-writing that recorded the mating cycles of each of the different animals. You've probably seen images of cave paintings that depict animals like this, and these are called figurative or pictographic images because they look like the things that they represent. But cave paintings actually have way more abstract abstract geometric signs in them than they do pictures of animals by a ratio of about two to one. These are called non-figurative signs, and archaeologists have always assumed that they have some sort of symbolic meaning. The tally marks especially seem like they're counting something. So furniture restorationist and amateur archaeologist Bennett Bacon had always been fascinated by these geometric symbols in cave paintings, and he spent years wondering what they meant. It just so happens that in 2010, researchers had published a massive online database of cave paintings documenting 32 different recurring signs and motifs from 200 caves all over southern France and Spain. Because this amazing resource was made freely available to the public, Mr. Bacon was able to explore his theories about the markings. He approached different scholars about his ideas, and just this January, he co-authored a paper with faculty from Durham University and University College London with their findings. They analyzed more than 800 sequences of marks and discovered that the number of lines or dots next to each animal is the number of lunar months from late late spring until the start of that animal's mating season. They also found this recurring Y-shaped mark in these sequences of lines, and they discovered that this corresponds to the birthing month of those animals. So Paleolithic peoples were documenting the mating cycles of the animals that they relied on for food. It's a type of phenological calendar, one that documents biological cycles in animals. And this interpretation of the symbols has a lot going for it. We know that prehistoric peoples were acutely aware of lunar and solar cycles, and that a great deal of their art was very concerned with the species that they hunted regularly. Knowing the timing of migrations and mating and birthing would have been really useful to them. And none of the sequences of marks that they looked at had more than 13 marks total, and 13 is the number of lunar months in a year. So is this a form of early writing? Well, no, because writing is usually defined as a way of recording language. These marks are a record-keeping system, but probably don't represent specific words. In fact, these marks were found in over 600 images all across Europe, spanning thousands of years, so there's no way it could represent words from any one specific language. But this type of record keeping is very similar to how writing actually did arise in Mesopotamia. Merchants used small clay tokens to record the amounts of livestock or commodities, and then they sealed those tokens inside clay spheres. That way, when the goods arrived at their destination or the recipient picked them up, the receiver could break open the sphere and see that they were getting the correct number of items. It was only later that those images of animals and things developed into a full-fledged writing system that represented the words for those animals and things. So this phenological calendar that we see in these cave paintings is pretty similar. It was a way of recording and passing along information, so it makes sense to call it a type of proto writing. And like the earliest writing in Mesopotamia, not everyone might have been able to read it. It might seem obvious to us now that those tick marks are numbers, but you have to remember that this was still a relatively new convention for humanity. And these paintings were sometimes really deep inside the caves, so it's not clear how often people were actually going into the cave and reading them. It's very likely that the knowledge of how to interpret these symbols was limited to certain elite or educated members in the community, much like gurus or griots or priests in other historic cultures. Early writing was often seen as mystic or divine, and only those with special knowledge could understand it. But unlike proto-cuneiform, this phenological calendar in these cave paintings never developed into anything more complex, but nonetheless it does seem to be a pretty cool case of proto-writing 10,000 years earlier than we see anything like it anywhere else in the world. If you want to learn more about how language works, give me a follow.